Your genetics are a phenomenal thing. A 40-year-old person who looks and feels like they're 28 isn't because they left things to chance. They're doing things differently. Chronic disease, aging, poor performance. These are all the result of wrong choices. But how do you know what the right choices are for you? And what would be the impact if you always made the right choice? What if you can change the day you die? When you see those first wrinkles, those gray hairs, or a call from the doctor and they say, I need to see you, your test results are in. We've taken it for granted that this is meant to happen, that aging and disease are just a part of life. Well, what if they're not? You can't feel cancer coming. There's no warning that dementia is on the way, and so we think these things just happen. We get sick, we try to treat it, but it's too late. Well now, there's a better way. A way that puts us each in charge of our own destiny. Genetic research has advanced more in the last three years than the last 30. And this personal instruction manual that's in each one of us has finally been properly decoded. We can now get ahead of disease or even reverse it, allowing us to decide how we age. Our scientists have clinically studied over 5,000 people. We've sat in front of each and every one of them. We looked at their hair, their skin, their mood and behavior, their medical history, everything about them all overlaid on their DNA map. We then understood where the biochemistry of your trillions of cells and the instructions of your 22,000 genes intersect. And with that, what choices each one of us needs to make to slow down aging and catch disease before it happens. I have no doubt that with the genetic insights we're seeing today, chronic disease will soon be a story that we tell our grandchildren. If you understand why chronic disease and aging really happen, you also understand that they are truly optional.